You need to throw that old ball away now. <laughs> um, okay, this is a tour of my new studio, which you can see there. Um, I was wanting to do this when it was 100% done. It isn't. <laughs> And also when the weather was nice, um, and it isn't. Uh, but if I wait for both of those things to happen, you won't get a tour until next year. And I know um, many people on my blog and Facebook have been waiting for this tour, so I'm just going to do it now. Um, and as you can see, it is um, a nice blue, lavender, grey kind of colour. Didn't have much to choose from, um, so I just went for the prettiest one. It is 12 foot by 6 foot down there. Um, as you can see, same kind of colour on that way. It wasn't what I was intending to buy. I was intending to get one of those like summer housey type things, but... They cost quite a bit and then I'd have to insulate them and uh, paint them and seal them and all of that myself. So this was more expensive um, but it is worth it. It's guaranteed for a very long time. These whole front and walls and things, they are all one unit. So what happened to my old little shed won't happen to this because that just got completely um, demolished by weather. So um, this should withstand it. So. I will go and open it now we can have a look inside. So this is the view, doors open. As you can see there are many pom-poms up at the top. That's because I didn't want to attach things to the walls like I did with the um, old studio space that I had outside. I have a few um, nice photo frames to put up here and artwork to put in the photo frames. So that's one thing that needs, still needs to be done. Um, and I don't mind putting those up because I can take them down or replace them with other artwork. It's kind of, a, you know, um, a thing that I can constantly change with my mood. But these um, I can take down at any point. They're just stuck up there with buttons. <laughs> so it's not harming um, the place to have them up there. And I just wanted some colour in here, really, without painting colour. Um, and along with the inspiration wall of artwork that I'll have up here, I hope it's going to be like a nice just nice bright colours so and it also matches the other pom-poms that I have up here um, I have a tutorial for making these pom-pom garlands on my vlog channel um, so yes the only thing I have out of my old studio is this little set of drawers everything else is pretty much decked out by Ikea so <laughs> Ikea chair, Ikea desk but it's perfect it fits the space absolutely perfectly see so the first things I had to do when we came in here was the floor so these are carpet tiles, so if I do get paint on something, I can take one up and replace it. Hopefully that's not going to happen, because I've been very careful. And I haven't really used this space like I might have done my old one, where I just slosh paint around and not really care. I've been quite careful in here. Um, the second thing was the blinds needed to go up. And they have been excellent, because they really keep out the sunlight, because otherwise it would be too hot in here to work during the summer which is what I found in my old studio so I've got a little monitor on there for doing a bit of work in here if I want to do a bit of work or a DVD player for turning that into a TV and just sitting here journaling as was my original vision for <laughs> for this room so that's what I wanted with this room oh and the electrics needed to be done as well so those are the big three things the carpet the electrics and the blinds Insulation and ceiling and painting was already done in these walls. There is a huge cavity behind these walls that is thick with insulation. So hopefully this place will last. Um, so here's my comfy corner. This is a bean bag or a, one of those large outdoor bean things. Um, I did originally buy two because I wanted to fill this whole space but then it's not big enough to do that so I gave one away. And once this chair here goes, this also was out of the old studio actually, when this goes, because it's quite low down, so when people sit in it, they kind of fall into it. <laughs> and the seams are all kind of busting now because of that. So what I might do when this goes is I might give the second this beanbag away. And I might turn this into, just buy a cheap sofa from Ikea. Because my original plan for this was for me to feel like I was art journaling on the floor. <laughs> like I did when I was, when I first found my artistic side again in London, I would just sit on my floor in my flat and just play and that was the most freeing time I think I've had in my art journey let's say and I wanted to try and replicate this with that with having this on here 
having, you know, Buffy the Vampire Slayer or some really cheesy TV show on and just really just enjoying myself journaling. Um, so I have this tray thing again from Ikea and I just set that on my lap and with the journals that I have under here um, on top of that vintage case which holds all my papers, magazines, scrap papers, every kind of paper just for, you know, journaling. I sit on there and I just then journal and um, it is very enjoyable but it's not like when I was um, on the floor because although this is very comfortable it's very difficult to get in and out of <laughs> so when you're in it you're in it <laughs> so I might get a sofa or something that I can just feel a bit more free um, reaching for my supplies and things so here um, this table again this coffee table is from Ikea um, and this cart was from Ikea and this is the only kind of art supplies I have in here it is all of my not very well used supplies plus a couple of things I've started to sneak in here that I do like to use like my gouaches but there's just like tins and pastels and stuff under there that I don't use very often and it just kind of makes me use them to have them out here plus it gives me more space in my studio inside but this is all contained in this one cart um, again, because I want other people to feel comfortable in this space, um, I don't want it to look like a studio that only I can then use, whereas I want family and friends to, you know, come in here and relax in here. So that's why I did it, and yeah, the pom-poms, I half like the pom-poms, but I just want to colour in here, <laughs> so that's why they're there. And some handmade paper beads for the you know, just to brighten these up. I've got a few little few little things I need to do just to decorate still in here. But this is mainly what it's like. So I just wanted to give you Oh, I'm trying to go backwards without falling over. <laughs> just wanted to give you a bit of a view. Um yeah, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Um much love everybody. See you soon. Bye.